Hi there again. Jane again. I'm concerned about claims by car races that they're green. In Adelaide we have an annual race, the, Ad the Clipsal 500. And this year, last year it complained, claimed that it was carbon neutral, but the ACCC, our corporate watchdog, made them withdraw this claim as it was false and misleading. This year they're claiming green on the official website because the V8 cars are running on 85% ethanol fuel. However, the fuel used by a single class of vehicles in the carnival does not make the event green and there's a huge range of other carbon emissions. There was months of building the facilities and pulling them down including all that embedded infrastructure in the carbon in the infrastructure. There's a huge amount of uh, often aggressively driven additional traffic by the supporters. Mostly the extra traffic was either in huge four-wheel drives with bull bars practically everywhere and I'm not sure how many wild bulls we have in the mid streets in the centre of Adelaide. We also have spoilers and major muffler arrangements and they vroom, vroom, vroom. Okay, I don't mind people having fun. And obviously there seems to be something hardwired into a lot of people about, about this. But hey, think about all the extras, the extra beer consumed. Nearly everyone I saw walking to the race had large drink coolers as they left their parked cars and the locals who normally commute to the city um, many of them on foot and, and by bike across the park um, had a few weeks when they had to, to go right around the circuit in cars or buses and sit for long periods in gridlock using a lot more fuel and then there were the aerobatics from the planes overhead and the huge an immensely noisy Hornet or F-111 or whatever the thing is that, that flew low over the track and nearby suburbs. And let's not forget the huge plasma screens um, and the rock concerts every night and the fireworks. They're all responsible for carbon emissions. How could it be green when they're not making any effort for that? And then there's the travel by road and air by spectators. Apparently the, the attendances were over a quarter of a million. And then on the more trivial side, all the local residents had to keep their windows closed because of the, because of the noise and so there was increased air conditioner use. And there were helicopters continually overhead and all the marketing. Now all of that needs to be added into the overall carbon footprint of that event. I'm certainly not opposed to people having events. I think they're very good for the overall economy to have events. But to claim an event like that is green just because some of the cars involved are using a high percentage ethanol fuel is totally fraudulent. And I don't think they realise what the thing is. But I do understand that some form of racing is hardwired into a lot of people. My youngest grandson has been totally obsessed by cars from the moment he started sitting up. I mean, he has loved them. And I, I, that's what I see with all the spectators going to the race. We need to work out what we're going to do about things like that. But don't just call them green. Thanks. Bye.